If we wanted to create a Dutch hip or Dutch gable roof, I'm assuming you've already got a hip drawn and we're going to modify it to create that roof. So first of all, I'm going to use the 2D line tool just to draw a guide for where I want the Dutch hip or Dutch gable to start. So first of all, I'm going to take my mouse or the cursor to that corner and let's just say I, I want the line 1800 in, so I'm going to type X, 1800 plus, enter, so there's my guide, and then I'm going to draw my line, placing it on that guide, just dragging straight through. Then I'm going to select it, and I'm going to mirror a copy of this line to the other side of the roof. Now I can do that by going edit, move, drag a copy, or mirror a copy, or I can use Control shift m but I'm actually going to use just the cursor. So I'm just going to hold my mouse on the line while it's a Mercedes cursor. While I hold my mouse button down, I select this icon here, which says mirror. And if, when I let it go, if I push the control key, a plus sign comes up. Then I'm going to take my mouse to the halfway marker on the slab or the roof, click and drag my cursor up the page by holding the shift key and there's my copy of that line. I might just select the roof and then where that cross comes up I'm just going to left mouse click there and add a node and I'm going to grab this node and drag that to that intersection once the cursor becomes a cross, we can click again. Just see if we have a look at that in 3D and see what I've done. I've just created a little hole in the roof. Then I'm going to select this roof plane. I'm going to click once at that intersection and then just drag this across. So. I'm going to do the same to this side, click on this point here, and then grab this one up here, and move that across. Once I've completed that, I can delete the guideline, and just have a quick look in 3D again. And there's my Dutch ship. So if I close that now, I'm going to do the same to the other side quickly. Hold the shift key down, left mouse click on it add a node at that intersection and grab this node drag it up to there select this roof plane left mouse click at that intersection drag this mouse along left mouse select that roof section add a node there and drag that across to there then I'm just going to select the line and delete that. So there's a Dutch hip. We can actually put a small piece of wall in there or put in a special library part that's been created for a gable end. So if I just close that and find a library part, we'll see that we've got gable panel, that'll do. And we want to place it from that point there and it's 20 degrees that which is correct so I'm going to leave all that push OK and I'm going to push gravity to roof left mouse click it there and I'm going to go control A to select it go to the arrow tool zoom right in and I'm going to stretch that to Just click on the section elevation tool, do a quick elevation and open that section elevation and there's my gable end. So if it's in the correct position, the correct height, I can just grab that again and mirror reverse it. So I'm going to use the pet palette again, 
then push the control key. Now when I go to the 3D window, we filled in the gable end. 